Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about elongation and termination of prokaryotic replication. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. Uh, so in our last lecture, uh, we have talked about the initiation of replication in prokaryotes. I will highly recommend you to go through this lecture to understand today's lecture in a better way. And we have seen that DNA polymerase uh, started to extend the RNA primer, adding nucleotides, right? Okay. Uh, so, elongation is unidirectional. That is, DNA gets polymerized only in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction. Therefore, in one strand, when the template is 3 prime to 5 prime at that time, the strand or newly synthesized strand is continuous while on the other strand, so when the template is 5 prime to 3 prime at that time, the newly synthesized DNA is in the discontinuous fashion. During discontinuous replication, short fragments are formed called Okazaki fragments. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is uh, actually the, this is the concept where many of us have strong doubts. So, I will try to clear your doubts here. Okay. So, here I have divided this uh, replication bubble into two halves. Okay. Now, first we will concentrate on this right side. Okay. Now, this is the helicase, right? So, this helicase is moving in this direction, right? So, it is moving in this direction and uh, opening the double strands. Now, the DNA gets polymerized only in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. You have to remember this always that DNA always gets polymerized only in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction, not in the 3 prime to 5 prime direction. This is the first thing you have to remember. Okay. Uh, so that means uh, here the DNA replication is continuous. Why? Since helicase is moving in this direction. And DNA replication is happening also in the same direction that is 5 prime to 3 prime. Here it is 5 prime to 3 prime. So it is the same direction. That's why it is continuous. It is simply following the helicase. So DNA replication here it is simply following the helicase. And this strand is known as leading strand. Since this is continuous, this is known as leading strand. Okay. But problem occurs here. Here again, the helicase is moving in this direction, right? It is moving in this direction and DNA gets polymerized only in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Here to here, 5 to 3. That means the direction of helicase movement and DNA polymerization are opposite, right? This movement and this movement, these two are opposite. That's why the replication is discontinuous over here. Helicase will move in this direction and open a new portion. And uh, short, short uh, fragments are formed. They are called Okazaki fragments. And this strand is known as lagging strand. Why? Because uh, this is not continuous. This is continu discontinuous replication. Since this is discontinuous, this strand is known as lagging strand. Okay. Now, let's concentrate on this left side. Just opposite happens here. Since the helicase is moving in this direction, here helicase is moving in this direction, this time, this will be the leading strand. And this will be the lagging strand. See, it is very simple. When the newly synthesized strand is generated in the same direction of helicase movement, it is a continuous replication. 
and when the newly synthesized strand is generated in the opposite direction of helicase movement it is a discontinuous replication okay now after this uh, the primers should be removed this red one these red one are primer right so these should be removed why since these primers are rna primers they are not dna so primers uh, you have to remove these primers so primers are removed by rna's h now once the primers are removed there will be an obvious gap that will be filled by dna polymerase 1 and uh, so DNA polymerase 1 will actually synthesize DNA in these gaps. Although the gaps are filled but there will be small nicks which are sealed by ligase. Uh, so actually gap is caused once few nucleotides are missing. Just like this when primer is removed when a primer is removed there will be an obvious gap few nucleotides are missing and that will be uh, filled by dna polymerase 1 which will synthesize small small dna fragments in place of rna primer but nick means when a phosphodiester bond is missing between adjacent nucleotides See, once gap is filled by DNA polymerase, a nick must be there between the, between the first nucleotide of this and last nucleotide of this, right? There will be Uh, there will be a nick. Here a phosphodiester bond is missing between the first nucleotide of this and last nucleotide of this. And that phosphodiester bond will be created by ligase. So this nick is sealed by ligase. Okay. Uh, and last but not the least, the fragmented lagging strand fragmented lagging strand is also joined by DNA ligase. Ukazaki fragments are joined by DNA ligase. And finally, you will get uh, the product of DNA replication. So, this is the ultimate story. So, this is all about today's lecture. I hope you like the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.